Hello everybody, welcome in this uh, video number 14 related to the case in RQDA. So let's start to open the software. And right now I still have the same uh, folder open. This one which at the last video I was talking about news and interviews. And we will create the case. So cases is actually quite a very similar working than the files categories. But it's a little bit different in the way that files categories is more related to the nature of the file. Is the file a special newspaper? Is the file an interview? Etc. Etc. And on the case, I would give you the following example. Here, as you can see, I've got uh, interviews. And actually, my interviews are organized in a very special way, as you can see, because first there is the number, interview one to interview number 18, and after there is a backslash and a one or a two. And this is working like this. If it's one, it means that I interview a man, and if I if I have interview number two, it means that is a, room, uh, a woman. And now, actually, if I'm uh, writing a Facebook, so if I retrieve uh, the code, so I, I have unconditional codes. And now if I retrieve the code Facebook, I will click two times on it. You can see that uh, actually I have a, a mix between the opinion of the man, of men and women. Uh, for instance, uh, interview number five is a woman and interview number one is a man. But let's imagine that right now, I wish to have only the opinion uh, about Facebook uh, of the ma of the men who I interviewed, or maybe only about the opinion of the women. So this is what we will see on this video. So in this video, we'll see how to create uh, cases, sorry, and how to uh, on the next video we'll see how to make a special uh, conditional uh, retrieving. I just want to point out that uh, after we saw uh, almost all the, 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 the menus, I will just uh, give you a small talk about uh, code categories for sure. But you can also do the same kind of stuff with the attributes. But attributes is a little bit special because if you want to do any conditional retrieving, you will need to make some queries on the console line. So basically, if you are using R Studio like me, you can, for instance, doing conditional, uh, just writing some some queries, which are actually a SQL queries uh, on, on this one. But don't worry, I will go later on this video. This is just to tell you that what I'm showing to you uh, is a, uh, especially to make uh, cases like men, women, and so on, is quite uh, easy, it's quite easy to do with cases because after to retrieve, you can just use the GUI application of RQDA. But just to tell you right now that you, you can also do the same stuff with attributes and we'll see that later. But don't worry, just see that video to, to see how it's working. You will see it's very easy. So now I will just add a new categories. And as I said, we'll add men. And after I will add women. Okay. And now it's exactly uh, working like before. That's to say that you have to, 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 to attribute some files to the cases. So first of all, as you can guess, here you have the delete button. So if you're not happy with one uh, case, you just delete it. And after you have the case rename, the bottom rename, sorry. And here you can rename everything. So that's working like this. And uh, after, just sorry, I just was uh, checking something on my other screen because it was strange. Uh, after you can um, create some attributes too, but that is a special function, so we'll see that later. And now you can, uh, we'll see how to to give uh, the files uh, which end with backslash one for the men and the backslash two for the women. You just need to go here and to make a right click and to choose add files and now we'll choose all the men so 
number one is a man, number two, three also, four, five, six, no, seven, yes, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, uh, fifteen. Okay, and all the other are women. So I press on OK. By the way, I just uh, maintain the the control key of my keyboard in order to select uh, many uh, uh, interviews at the same time. And I'm doing OK. And now you see that all of them are men. And now I will do the same with women. So just go here and just go on add file, sorry. And after we'll go on number two. So that's a woman, woman, woman. That's also a woman and that's also a woman. Okay, uh, I forgot that one. Okay, so I just press on okay. And now I see that I have men and women. So I just want to, to tell you to, to check it after because you just need to check that uh, you didn't forget uh, anyone and you didn't mistake anything because uh, for instance uh, you may uh, you may do a mistake that's to say to put a man in a woman uh, categories and vice versa so just be careful not to do any mistake so you will ask me what happened if I did a mistake for instance Let's go here and add something, uh, some new files. And let's say we did a mistake and we put uh, the woman, interview number four, which is a woman in the men's category. So this is a mistake, as you can see here. So this is not a problem if you did it. You just f you do a right click and then you just choose drop selected files. And then a window is coming and saying, do you really want to do that? And are you sure? And yes. So I will delete just from the categories, but you will see that number four will not be deleted. That's to say that if I do OK, she's uh, that interview number four is gone from, from the men's categories. But if I go here, she's still here, so that's OK. Uh, I think we've seen uh, everything about it. On the next video, we'll see uh, how, to doing, uh, how to do a conditional retrieving. But uh, I just wanted to tell you that in the case, like every time, just go here. You can you can just arrange. Uh, you can sort it by by uh, by the last letter to the first or the opposite. And you can also do a right click and uh, and 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 doing uh, many kind of different stuff. And you can even do a web search. So if you if you want to do a web search, why not? I don't know uh, if it would be useful or not, but why not? Uh, and and I just let you check the other menu so just be curious and if you go here under you can also do some kind of extra stuff so uh, just let's check it this one show property and then i have a file so basically i will not explain everything on that video i will just invite you to to check the different uh, possibilities but unless the files category, so that's the last point I wanted to make clear about, is that we will just check something. Uh, here, we'll just click two times on this one. And if you click two times on any files that belongs to a category, you see that everything is underlined uh, in yellow. So first of all, if you don't like any yellow, you just can go here. And actually, I told you that you have the color for K, so you can just go here. And uh, let's try uh, this one, Alice Blue. I have no idea what is looking like. And press OK. And now I go back here to the cases, click two times on it. And you see that I've got a much more lighter blue color. So that was just a point I wanted to make clear about. But now uh, let's just put again golden because maybe it's a little bit more strong. OK. You may wonder, but why everything is underlined into yellow? This is a very good question because actually you can assign a case to all the text belonging to one file, but you can also assign it to a very small part. And we will check it uh, with the interviews. Uh, for instance, 
uh, this doesn't make really sense to, uh, we'll assign it to the newspaper, sorry. Uh, so I will just open that one, just going here. And, and we will see that uh, if I'm going to case, and I would like to attribute only this small part to the cases, I can just go here on case, and then uh, let's choose women. So once again, first I have to select the text and choose uh, between the possibilities. And then I can click on link here. And actually, as you can see, I've highlighted only a part of the text to the case. And if I want to unlink it, uh, I just should go like this. I just go here, I press again to the women, and I just click on unlink, unlink sorry. And now you see that is not yellow anymore. So I can just make, uh, let's attribute this one to the, to the women. So click to the women and then you click link. And let's attribute uh, this one to main categories. So actually it doesn't make any sense in that case, but it's just to show you the possibility of the software. So men, and then I click on link. So you can see that this part is belonging to men. If I go to women, this part is belonging to women. So personally speaking, I never had to use a case related only to a small part of the text. But this may be very useful for some situation. This depends really what you do. So I just invite you to remember that uh, this possibility, uh, uh, RQDA offers you this possibility to, 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 underli to underline either uh, all the text belonging to one file or either only a small part. So just use it uh, the way you like to use it. Okay, I invite you to the next video to see uh, how to make some conditional retrieving about cases. Thank you.